this reading is going to be for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let's see what energies we might be working with here. Collective Sagittarians. That flew over there. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so you showed up here. Okay, yeah, Sagittarius. Okay, so, um, okay, so the Mars energy and the Cancer, which is the emotions. Okay, so. Okay, so I have two groups here of Sagittarius. Okay, so I have one group who, um, who ha has had great achievements and status in the outside world. Okay, but in the inside world, um, when it comes to uh, love connections, I feel like maybe uh, it's been kind of um, fiery. Okay. Because here we have Aries here. Aries showed up twice. So that's that Mars energy. So the message with that is if you haven't felt physically um, charged when it comes to the love department, um, there's going to be a shift in that energy, plan a planetary shift. But you don't have to wait for that. You can shift it now, your energy, by tuning within and moving in pure positive energy. So move in your mind in a positive place. Okay. And here we have the Capricorn energy, which is wanting to bring all this positivity, this positive creativity in the physical reality. That's why Earth is showing up here. Okay, now, this is big here. I feel like for a lot of you, it's been, um, there's been control issues and kind of bullheadedness, perhaps, uh, that could be translated into stubbornness or my way, right? Okay, so then you have that, and then the mix of Leo, okay, ego, let's say, and um, if you have an overblown ego, then that could uh, cause some problems in the love sector. So what we're reaching for here is a healthy, uh, a healthy ego and self-esteem. If you have a low self-esteem, it's calling for raising your self-esteem. Now, self-esteem can change through time. If you're in your 60s or later, sometimes ego can shift due to, um, is it humility? Hold on. Due to um, the, uh, for some who have chosen it, the aging process. Okay, so for those who have chosen it, 
That reason is to bring in more compassion to self and others. Okay, so sometimes while that shift is happening, that can look like low self-esteem. Okay, so then in that case, what we want to do is raise it again, right, to a healthy place. Okay, and then you get to define that, what that is. Okay, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so now if you're younger and you're trying to explore self, right, then that could look like different things at different times. Okay, because you're still in discovery, right? I feel like we all are in discovery, but perhaps even more so uh, when you're younger. Okay, so there's that. Shoring up your self-esteem, self-love, and healthy ego, right? Okay, and that way when you come together with another person, uh, it's very divine. Okay. All right, learning how to move your emotions uh, before, okay, so it's like if you're in tune with your emotions and you feel something uncomfortable, it's like pay attention to it then and then move it, if you can, back to your pure positive energy, right? And then that way you won't reach for extreme fire to, you know, to move things to uh, in a negative way. Because the story here is people who are in wanting to be in service of pure positive energy. That's what's showing up here. That desire is here. Okay. So for the other group that is still working on this achievements and status in the outside world. Okay, so as we become um, better managers, right, of our own energy within that pure sun, then it'll be easier to um, strategize your future. Now, for those who have had achievements and status, I feel like there is more. So you're reaching for more. So, and that, then that would be the same for you, learning how to tune into your own energy and know what's going on with that so that you can bring in your highest and best. new opportunities in love okay and I, that's the key uh, as you move through that doing that energy here is the ace of cups in the wheel okay so fortune is on your side here look at that flamingo it's like you could stand on, uh, for yoga people, it's like doing the tree pose. It's like, it's like you're just standing and in, 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 in your cup is just flowing over with abundance. Okay, so. And in a way, this is looking like three of wands here. Four, right, with the legs. Four of wands. Wow. Ooh, fire and water, it's coming up again. Okay, so that came up in another reading at some point. That fire and water. It's like learning how to alchemize those two. Uh, not going too extreme in negative fire and then learning how to move your emotions uh, quicker so that you don't have to reach for that, um, that far fire to balance out everything through uh, anger and things like that. It's like catching it early to talk 
and and talk about things with in clarity so that uh, they don't get to a point where they're just you get mad and then blow up okay ace of swords yeah that's part of that talking your truth and your clarity clear mind okay and doing that in the early stages in relationship can help you stay out of that kind of painful fire. Here's a three of wands. Okay, so see? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Okay. All right, so now, then that, the key is... As you move your own energy in the future, you won't have to block anybody because you're moving in this, this energy. Okay, so um, there's that for someone. Okay, but this three of wands, this ship is flying high. Look at that. So it's like bringing in that dream work from the ethers. Okay, and flying your ship where you want it. No waiting around. There's movement here. It's showing up in the cards, too. It's like everything looks alive here. Even the ship looks like it's a living creature. Okay. There's that Capricorn. Okay, so the key is... Tempering your emotions and, okay, when it comes to uh, sexual engagements, uh, being mindful too, right? It's like, um, know your intentions when you're come together with other people, okay? Yeah. Because here's the Five of Swords. Okay, so that's the thing. In the future, when it comes to any kind of sexual connections, you want to uh, be mindful, is the word. Okay, when you come together with other people. And it's like you want to uh, be delicate also with their emotions and what they may be going through. Yeah, here's a temperance. <laughs> okay, showed up. Yeah. And see then you have to when you do that and you're not thinking over here and you're just kind of going you know like a storm to to these different sexual connections then it can bring in this needing to go within and even more and balance out the energies again here's this two of pinnacles and it's temperance and two of pinnacles so that's emphasized there okay and then it's like you have to kind of rework your energy again to move forward the chariot okay so in the future if you look look out for that i feel like um there won't be this stop start stop start okay it'll just be flow okay so we've got the chariot okay so water showing up the lovers <laughs> Okay, so I feel like whoever it was, there's a potential to bring this together. Okay, so, but um, I feel like there needs to be compassion on both sides. Uh, and you can't control what the other person brings, but you can control what you bring to the table. And I feel like that's the, the, um, that's the, the big message here. Okay, let's see. And what's this? Empress on the bottom. Beautiful. Okay. So, so this coming together again, uh, and then working towards this, um, prosperous time.
Yeah. And I'll leave you with that, Sagittarius. <laughs>